in the second grade My Math book. We will be working on pages 327 through 329 today. Count by fives, tens, and hundreds. Explore and explain. Teacher directions. Skip count by five and color those numbers yellow. Skip count by 10 and circle those numbers red. If the chart continued and you counted by hundreds, what would be the next hundred you would say? So first let's start with skip counting by five. So we'll go five, 10, sorry, 205, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 235, 240, 245, 250, 255, 260, 280, 285, 290, 295, and 300. Next, we're going to skip count by 10, and we will circle those numbers red. So we'll say 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, and 300. Now, if the chart continued and you were counting by hundreds, what would be the next hundred? So the first number up here would be 200. And the next hundred down here would be 300. And if we were counting by hundreds, we would say 200, 300, and then 400. 400 would be our next hundreds. Number patterns can help you count. In these patterns, each number is more. 560 at the top of the ladder. So if we start at the bottom of the ladder, it's 545, counting by fives, 550, 555, and 560. So if you count by fives, each number is five more. That's the pattern. Let's look at this chart here. 545, 555, 565, and 575. If you look here, we are adding a number in the tens place. We are adding 10 each time. So we're counting by 10, so each, each number is 10 more. And let's look at this ladder here, 545, 645, 745, and 845, we are counting by hundreds. So each number is 100 more. Write the missing numbers and then write the counting pattern. So we have 340, 350, 360, blank and 380. So we're looking here, we're counting by tens. So 40, 50, 60, 370 is our missing number. So the pattern is five more. Or we could put counting by ten. Sorry, ten more, not fives. Counting by tens. I was looking up at the <laughs> exemplar up here. Ten more. Right here we have 575, 580, blank, 590, and our next number here would be 595. So we're counting by fives, 575, 580, 585, and 590, 595. The pattern is we're adding fives, or you could say counting by fives. Let's look at this pattern here, 941, 841, blank, 641, and 541. So we have 900, 800, 600, 500. So I know it's, we're counting by hundreds, 741. The tens in the ones place will stay the same. So the pattern is counting by one hundreds, or we could say adding 100. 680, 675, blank, blank, and 660. So actually, we are going down that ladder. We're starting at the top and going down. 680, 675, 670, 665, and 660. I was looking here and I noticed 60 is smaller than 80, so I knew we were going down. We were subtracting five. So we are subtracting five each time. So how could you tell if a number pattern is counting by hundreds? So we can tell if it's counting by hundreds. Look at the hundreds place. 
So if you look in the hundreds place, and it is increasing by one, we are counting by one hundreds. Let's go to page 329. On my own, write the missing numbers and then write the counting pattern. 500 and 510, blank, 530, and then blank. So if I look here, the difference between this number and this number is 10. There's a blank here and then there's 30. So I would go 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So I know it's 520, 530, 540. So the pattern is adding 10, add 10 each time. Let's look at this number here, 310, a blank, 320, a blank, and 330. So what comes right in between these two would be 315. 325. That would complete the pattern because we are counting. I'm going to put adding fives. Let's look at these numbers here. Number seven, 800, 790, 780, blank, 760. So this would be 770 because we're subtracting 10 each time. 90, 80, 70, 60. So it is subtracting tens. Let's look here. 655, blank, 455, 355. So I'm noticing that these numbers in the ones place and the tens are staying the same. And this is 600 something, 400, 300. So I think this would be 555. The pattern is we are actually subtracting 100. So the next number would be 255. So 600, 5, 4, 3, 2. Just look at that hundreds place, you know the tens and the ones are staying the same. Let's look at number nine. We have a blank to start, and then we have 486, 586, 686. I'm noticing my tens and ones are staying the same, so something's happening with my hundreds. So let's look here. It's going four, five, six. They're going up this way, so let's start with 386. It's the 100 before, so it's the hundreds place before 400 be 300. So 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and the 86 stays the same because we're just adding 100. So the pattern is to add 100 each time. Let's look at number 10. 500, 600, 700, and the next 100 would be 800. So the pattern is adding 100. Okay, let's go to number 11. 234, blank, blank, 264, 274. So I'm noticing this number and this number are staying the same. Two and the four, see there's the two and the four, and the two and the four. So the ones place is staying the same, the hundreds place is staying the same, but the tens, let's see it's seven, six, three. So the, we're adding 10 each time. So it's 244, 254, 264, 274. So the pattern is to add 10, add 10. Let's look at number 12, we have a blank, 515, 510, 505. So I can see here we're counting by fives, and it looks like we're going down. 10, 15, 10, 5 means the numbers are decreasing. So I would add right here, so I'd have 520. If I take five from that, I get 515, 10, 5, and then I know if I take five more away, it's 500. It's 505 minus five would be 500. So the pattern is to subtract fives each time we're subtracting fives. 